Okay, Mike Martinez here, and today we're going to talk about how to grow your business with the 90 Days Challenge. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you, and this is something that, that you should keep in mind uh, forever now, right? Uh, because what you want to do and what the top earners, and this is what we want to do. We want to model the people that are getting the success. The top earners are building their businesses in 90 day blocks or, or specific time blocks some people go six months some people go you know a couple of months uh, it depends right uh, it depends on the industry it depends on the season it depends on on uh, the team it depends on a lot of different variables but what I'm gonna say is that I see most often the 90 days model being used so we're gonna use that in this and I, and I use it in my business so um, that's the one I'm more familiar with the 90 days model so we we're, we're talking about building your business in a certain concentrated block of time so that you could increase momentum increase uh, you know just just the actions that are being put out there and by the increase of actions you're gonna start increasing the results that you're getting that makes sense right so so the 90 days model is a very very important model for you moving forward okay very important for moving forward now uh, what I'm also going to say is that um, this is what you want to do when you when you finish your 90 day model you want to go on to the next model I mean to the next period now what I suggest is that you work a 90 day model uh, a 90 day challenge you 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 pump it out grind it out as best as you can and and then you evaluate you need to analyze what results you're getting and you need to tweak the system as you go along because what happens is that um, you're going to get some refinements you're going to get some distinctions uh, maybe it's better if I uh, do my phone calls at 11 o'clock as opposed to 9 o'clock in the morning. Maybe it's better that um, I approach these organizations in this particular fashion. So what, what I'm telling you is you're going to get distinctions that are going to help you grow your business. And so you do a 90 day, 90 day block of time where you're really laying it hard and you got a specific clearly cut defined a uh, goal and you are just moving towards that goal for 90 days and then after the 90 days model you take some time to reflect you take some time to analyze you take some time to tweak and adjust and that then you can start another 90 day block how long is it going to take to analyze and and adjust it depends on on what's going on some people could do it in a month some people it takes three months right so it, it it's all relative to your particular business uh, what you are doing and and things like that but just know that you want an accelerated time period a time period where you are accelerating your actions your momentum and then you want to see what type of results you're getting from that and you want to tweak tweak your actions so that you can refine your results but before we get started with that I want I want to uh, go over some very interesting information I found uh, in Forbes magazine it was actually uh, the April 4th 2012 issue and it was uh, talking about a study that was done in Stanford University and the study was uh, based on the brain and the mind and here's something incredibly incredibly important to this process of working your business on a 90-day model and that is that according to the research dr fred luskin of uh, stanford university said human beings have approximately 60 they actually said 60 to 80 but 60,000 thoughts Per day, we'll stick with the sixty thousand thoughts per day, right? Now that's that's impressive, right? And you probably think, wow, that's I, I can't even imagine that stuff. But here's what is even more impressive. What's more impressive is the fact that uh, these thoughts, ninety percent of them, are repetitive. 
interesting right you get 60,000 thoughts a day 90% of them are thoughts you had yesterday so that's why it's difficult when you look at it from that perspective you could see how why, why it's so difficult for human beings to create consistent change right because we're constantly being brought back with our mind to thoughts that we were indulging in the day before actions that we were right every action is preceded by a thought so uh, when you're saying oh, let me put on the TV let me uh, let me see the um, let me you know let me uh, let me put on that that television show that I love so much those things happen again they happen because your mind is going back repeating thoughts 60,000 thoughts and they're repeating them on a consistent basis so that's that's very very important because here's the deal if you want to make some changes in your life if you want your life to go in a new direction you're going to have to alter that repetitive mind game that you're going through that everybody goes through but you're gonna have to go out there and start changing your mind by inputting inputting new information inputting new ideas dwelling on new ideas new facts new new uh, uh, you know images that you want to work towards because ultimately again your mind is gonna move you back and is that what you want do you want to be back in the location where your mind was before no you want to step into the new the new your new reality right so very important that we keep that in mind um, and here's what I'm gonna tell you where do you start with this well I'm gonna ask you to go back and and think about where you started this year right what goals did you have this year now a lot of people go out and set New Year's resolutions, goals for the new year, and and uh, come January 5th, come January 7th, come January 10th, they don't even remember what the goals are. Now, why is that? That is because, again, we got 60,000 thoughts hitting our mind, and most of them are thoughts that we had yesterday, and if you just came to to on December 31st you just came to the realization that you wanted to create this change but you're going and you write it down and you get inspired and you get excited but the mind plays the game right the mind does what the mind is going to do and what is the mind going to do it's going to get 60,000 thoughts a day and 90 percent of those thoughts are repetitive thoughts so that's very very important but here's here's what happens when you don't follow through on those things or you you say i'm going to change my body and you hit the gym uh, january 2nd and you hit the gym january 4th and then something happens you don't hit the gym january 6th and then something happens already by january 10th you don't remember what the goal even was right and that is what i call broken focus when you break your focus then you lose track when you break your focus it's very simple to retract to the repetitive thoughts right and then not go and follow through on the things this is very very important for goal setting and nobody talks about this but the fact of the matter is focus is the key right so broken focus is what brings us to that point now the question is what are you willing to do to achieve the goals that that you really want to achieve right uh, if you've gotten clear on the goals then you have to go out there and and decide what it is that you're willing to do now here's what I'm going to tell you it's it's in the follow-through in the follow-through of the simple things that you're going to develop your goals from okay your goals are going to come up with you developing new disciplines that you are willing to put the time and effort into mastering right because where you are now and where you want to be there's some some goals so i mean some skills that you need to master 
and it's in the follow through the simple follow through of those things what if i told you that all you need to do is write your goals down on a on, on a on a five by seven uh, index card and just walk around with them and hold on to them for the next year would you do that right that's a simple thing write it down keep looking at it every so often throughout the day so that so that you start influencing those 60,000 thoughts right now you now you're inputting information right now it's not just happening on autopilot now you're in more of a control situation but are you willing to do that can you do a simple thing like that if you can do a simple thing like that then you increase your focus what happens when you increase your focus when you increase your focus your mind starts developing and telling you and guiding you to the actions that you need to take now the actions if you do them consistently and that's the key the word is consistency if you follow through consistently then you're going to start developing different results and that's the key right the other thing that i want to point out is that it's your responsibility absolutely your responsibility now look at what the word responsibility how that that word is formed right it's your response ability it's your ability to respond right to your goals and to developing yourself and to becoming the person you want to be it's your responsibility it's your ability to respond right and that it's going to take personal development okay so personal development how do we define that personal development is you finding a way to grow you finding a way to add more skills you finding the books that you need to read that's going to lead you into the position that you want to be you finding the mentors that you need to associate with so that you can get yourself in the position that you want to be very very important that that is done consistently again here's the three things that are gonna get you to where you want to go focus consistent actions and consistent personal development so the question is who do you need to become to accomplish your goals right there's another role that you need to step into there's another role that you need to become in order to achieve your goals if you were at that point if you were already living that role you would have your goals right the fact that you don't have your goals means that there's you need to step into it you need to pick up some skill you need to do something to start living in that person I am this person and this is why I have these things in my life right so it's a matter of constant and never-ending improvement that's a little term that uh, one of my mentors mr. Uh, Tony Robbins was teaching back in the 90s he was uh, you know and, and he, he coined it as can I c-a-n-i uh, constant and never improve never ending improvement what happens there is that you start picking up new skills and that builds a certain momentum and now you're picking up another skill and that builds a certain momentum and let me tell you son every time you pick up a skill you double your chances for success so if you picked up a skill last month and now you're working on developing a new skill you're just ramping up your success ratio your ability to succeed and you know what it's just a matter of time because as you pick up skills guess what you are becoming more valuable you're becoming more valuable to the world you're becoming more valuable to your family you're becoming more valuable to your team to your company to everything you are becoming more valuable by adding new skills so one of the good questions to ask is what characteristics attract you to the people that you consider as leaders right when you think about a leader what is it that attracts you to that person and some people will say they're good communicators 
Uh, some people will say they're inspirational. Some people will say they're articulate. Some people will say they're good dressers. Some people will say they follow through on, on the things that they're going to do. They walk their talk. Some people will say, hey, this is unlimited, what you can say. You can come up with your own idea, and that's I don't want to influence you on that. You describe to yourself, what is it that... that attracts me to people I consider leaders think about the leader that you that think about the leader if I say who's a leader in your mind you think about that person what is it that attracts you to that person and that's very important to get clear on and we'll discuss that in a second but again the second question you want to do is uh, or you want to ask is what skills do I need to develop what skills do I need to develop in order to reach my goal, right? And this is all in the context of this 90-day challenge, all right? In the next 90 days, what skills do I need to develop? What skill? Just one. What? One skill that you develop in 90 days is, is a powerful, powerful momentum for you, okay? And what new mentors do I need to find? Because mentors are shortcuts to where you want to go, right? A mentor can take you from ground zero to ground wherever you want to be in a very short period of time because they've gone through the process, right? They've gone through the process of a trial and error of making mistakes and they can guide you into that little jungle where no, don't take that road because that road you're going to have some danger you're going to have some problems you're going to have some obstacles take this road this is this is a better road for you to go where you can guide go smoother through the road right and that's what you want and that's what you need if you're serious about accomplishing your goals so here's where we're going to put it all together and and this is going to be a do and become list a do and become list because and and i know maybe this is something new to you uh you, you've never really looked at it in this fashion and that's okay but the bottom line is when you do when you put action and at the same time you focus on becoming someone bigger and better and stronger and and more intelligent and more uh articulate and more inspirational and and refine your leadership when you become that person and you do the actions you start moving at a tremendously quick rate okay and that's what you want isn't it don't you want to grow faster don't you